Hello guys, how are you doing? Previously, we talked about a lot of important concepts related to force. The most important one among them though was the concept of resultant force. So resultant force is nothing but the vector sum of all the forces acting on an object. Now when I say vector sum, it means that we need to take the direction of forces into account while summing them up. Now apart from this, we also talked about balanced and unbalanced forces. So when resultant force acting on an object is zero, we say that the forces are essentially balanced. On the other hand, when the resultant force acting on an object is non-zero, we say that the forces are unbalanced. So if balanced forces act on an object, its state of motion does not change. Well, obviously because the resultant force is zero. On the other hand, if unbalanced forces act on an object, its state of motion changes because the resultant force is non-zero. Now, this is pretty straightforward, right? I mean, who can confuse these ideas? It turns out, everyone. You see, before the 15th century, many thinkers in the Western world did not agree with these ideas. They believed that a consistent, unbalanced force must act on any moving object. Aristotle, for instance, hypothesized that a consistent force must push an object in motion. If the force stops acting, the object would stop moving. Now, different versions of this idea floated around for a long time until Galileo Galilei, a 15th century Italian physicist, came into the scene and proved everyone wrong. He conducted a series of experiments that proved to the entire world that an object moving at a constant speed or an object moving in uniform motion experiences no unbalanced force. So in this video guys, let's explore the experiments conducted by Galileo Galilei. Now before I talk about Galileo's experimental setup, let's set up an experiment of our own. So imagine a ball on a horizontal table that just begins to move. Now if I just watch the ball and don't do anything else, what do you think I would observe? Well obviously, the ball would come to rest after some time. Now, our intuition says that this is completely expected. Any moving object comes to rest after moving for some time. But still, can we explain this using physics? Well, let's give it a try. So, as you saw, we didn't disturb the moving ball. So, this means that we didn't apply any external unbalanced force. Now, no unbalanced force indicates that the ball should not have changed its state of motion. But hey, we all saw that the moving ball came to rest, which means its state of motion did change. The only explanation for this is that our assumption was wrong and an external force did act on the ball. And truly speaking, that external force was nothing but the force of friction exerted by the table's surface on the ball. Hmm, fair enough. So to counter the friction, let me make my table surface smoother than before and slide the ball again on it. What do you see this time? Well, clearly the ball travels a larger distance than before, but it still comes to a stop. So let me make my table surface so smooth that friction is practically absent on the surface. Now, when I slide the ball, you can clearly see that the speed of the ball does not decrease at all. The ball continues moving at a constant speed and after a while, falls off the edge of the table. After conducting similar experiments like this, Galileo concluded that an object moving at a constant speed does not experience any external force. Or in other words, no external unbalanced force acts on an object moving at a uniform speed. Now, Galileo proved this using a series of experiments. In one of his experiments, Galileo considered two smooth inclined planes, placed them apart on a smooth table and decided to drop a ball from the top of one of the inclined planes. Now, what he observed was that the ball's speed increased while coming down the first inclined plane, the ball's speed stayed constant while moving on the smooth table and the ball speed decreased while moving up the second inclined plane. Now looking at this, Galileo wondered, what if I remove the second inclined plane from the scene entirely? What would happen to the motion of the ball? Well obviously, once the ball comes down on the smooth table, it would continue to move uniformly at the same speed for indefinite period of time. So looking at this, Galileo concluded that for an object to move at a constant speed, no external influence or no external force is needed. The ball can just sustain its speed forever. Smart man, Galileo. Now he conducted another experiment and proved the same point. But this one is much more convincing, guys. 
So for that, he considered a smooth hemispherical structure and decided to release a ball inside it. He observed that once a ball is released from a certain height, it swings to the other side and attains the same height on the other side before stopping momentarily. So in this illustration, you can see that if we release the ball from point A, it swings all the way to point B, which is at the same height from the ground as point A. Taking inspiration from this, Galileo decided to modify his hemisphere and made it look something like this. Now, once he released the ball inside this modified hemisphere, to his amazement, he observed that ball once again climbed to the same height, despite the fact that it had to travel a longer distance on the opposite side. Now, that was cool. So he went on tilting the right side more and more towards the horizontal, and each time he observed that ball travelled longer and longer distances to attain the same height on the opposite side. And finally, as expected, Galileo made the right side completely straight or completely horizontal and released the ball once again. This time, the ball continued moving at a uniform speed. Now, looking at the ball, Galileo concluded that as long as the surface remains smooth. the ball's speed would not change or in other words the ball would continue moving at a uniform speed because no unbalanced forces are needed to keep a body in uniform motion now as far as i am concerned that last experiment was pretty convincing for me guys galileo proved to the entire world that as long as no external force acts on an object neither its speed nor its direction of motion changes Or in other words, an object continues moving at a uniform velocity as long as no external force acts on it. Now, this is also known as Galileo's law of inertia, which later became the basis for Newton's first law of motion. In the next video, we'll talk about Newton's first law of motion in detail. Till then, let's summarize whatever we have learned in this video. If the resultant force acting on an object is zero, we say that the forces are balanced. If the resultant force acting on an object is non-zero, we say that the forces are unbalanced. Galileo's law of inertia states that an object moving at a uniform velocity experiences no external unbalanced force. Galileo's law of inertia is the basis for Newton's first law of motion.